The movie opens with Hardin while he remains deeply heartbroken over Tessa, even a year after their breakup when she discovered his manuscript for After, their love story. His publisher, Catherine, pressures him to write a sequel to the bestseller before the year ends. Reluctantly accompanying Catherine and her friend to a club, Hardin can't enjoy himself, haunted by memories of Tess. Catherine and her friend visit Hardin's place, but he's miserable, drowning his sorrows in alcohol until he passes out. The next day, during lunch with his mother and biological father, Hardin is scolded for his drinking and refusal to move on. He explains that Tess was his entire inspiration and reason for being, suffering from writer's block. His mother advises him to make peace with the past and mentions Natalie, an old friend now living in Lisbon. Hardin travels to Lisbon to reconcile with Natalie, finding her at the bridal shop where she works. Initially, she rejects him, but they meet later, triggering memories of their past. Hardin had seduced Natalie as part of a bet, damaging her life and causing her to move to Lisbon. Natalie invites Hardin to the beach with her friends, including Sebastian, who initially distrusts him but later persuades Hardin to cliff dive. While sailing with Natalie, Hardin realizes the parallels between his situation with Tess and Natalie's public humiliation. After being beaten up by Sebastian and his friends, Hardin is bailed out of jail by his birth father, who encourages him to move forward while cherishing his love for Tess. Finding Landon's wedding invitation, he decides to stay longer, attempting to write. Natalie visits Hardin with an apology, nearly kissing him, but he confesses his enduring love for Tess. Hardin, inspired, resumes writing, completing the manuscript title before. He gives Natalie a copy, including her in it, and she approves. He surprises her with the coastal house she always dreamed of. In England, Nora anxiously anticipates Tessa's wedding, with Hardin as the best man. Walking down the aisle together, they reunite for the first time in years. During his best man speech, Hardin confesses his profound connection with Tessa. They reconcile, acknowledging their flaws, and decide they are destined to be together. In a moment of clarity, Hardin proposes to Tess. In a flash forward, Hardin returns home with his book later, greeted by his daughter and a visibly pregnant Tessa. If you liked the movie, tell us what you finally think about Tessa and Hardin, and please subscribe to our channel for more exciting romantic movies. Thank you.